Hello, you little chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. Nowadays, it's getting tougher and tougher to understand Generation Z's lingo. Even though they're an incredible generation, their language is ever-changing. So when it comes to teaching the Bible in a language the kiddos can understand, there's unfortunately no better teacher than my cousin Brock. Sunday Cool's official Gen Z spokesperson. Huh? Nothing. What? So let's sit down with Brock and get some of these Bible verses translated into Gen Z lingo. Hey Brock. What's up? Where are we? It's the newest and hippest coffee and tapas joint. Pretty sure this is a storage unit, man. Your face is a storage unit. This? Storage. Storage? It's storage. It's French. You uncultured millennial. Ouch. Plus, this place is basically a charity because all proceeds go to keeping the doors open. What's up, panties? What do y'all want to eat? I have no idea. What Enneagram number are you? Uh, two. Ha, oh, dude, you're gonna love the kombucha kale loaf. We sprinkle it with Spanish mosh and real dirt. Okay, sounds disgusting. Brock, what you want, man? I'll take the huge, my dude. Deconstructed scrambled eggs, coming on up. <laughs> Whoa. What was that? What? Never mind. <clears throat> Can we get to the Bible translations? You. Yep. All right, first one. Genesis 1-1. One, one. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Day in a G, sandcastle, big sky, little rock. 1 Corinthians 15, 33. Do not be misled. Bad company corrupts good character. Don't be swerved. Sustitutes finessia being a real one. Proverbs 27, 17. As iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. As John sharpens John, so one John sharpens another John. So what's a John? You're a John. No, I'm Carl. Nah, John. John? John. John? John. John? John. So like, I could say I'm gonna John over to the grocery store? <laughs> nah, that ain't it, Chief. <sighs> I don't understand this at all. Next one, Ephesians 2, 9. Not by works so that no one can boast. Not by getting that bread so noobs can't flex. All right. <clears throat> Galatians 6, 2. Carry each other's burdens, and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. Forklift your fam sadi, so Cap G sketches maxed out and relaxed and all cool. Song of Solomons 4, 5. Your brick. Oh. Never mind, I don't, I don't want to read this one. Let me see. <laughs> yeah, that's already translated. James 1, 2. Consider it pure joy, my brothers, when we face trials of many kinds. Don't be triggered, fam jam and hammies, when the game hands you a fanny pack full of bark bark dicky. Bark bark dicky? All right. <clears throat> Luke 6, 31. Do to others as you would have them do to you. Don't want shade? Don't throw it. How does one throw shade? Like this. What'd you say? Brock? Real funny, man. You know, being in the dark makes me super nervous and gassy. Rock, I'm serious, man. Shit. Hey! 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 Want some deconstructed scrambled eggs? That just looks like a whole egg. You would say that. Of course I would say that. It's an egg. You can call it whatever you want, but it's an egg. Deconstructor or not, it's an egg. At the beginning of time, it was an egg. That I really don't like doing these interviews with you, man. 